Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, welcome to another weekly vlog. I am filming, it's not a weekly vlog, I don't know why I lied. I'm filming today, which is Friday, and then I'm gonna film the weekend. So it's gonna be a weekend vlog. Um, I just have a couple of things planned that might be quite exciting to film, um, a few new pieces that I wanted to show you. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Sorry for the mess behind me, my room is actually a tip. I've just been taking some pictures uh, this morning, but it's been a little bit of a tight schedule this morning because what I like to do is my mum comes home for her lunch break at around 12.30 it's 12 30 now and i like to sort of get a certain amount of things done before she gets home just to like try and keep myself motivated and organized and this morning it has been a struggle so i've just finished shooting i'm gonna tidy up this mess in a minute but before i forget i just wanted to talk to you about the prints that are in my room so i have these two here you may remember them from a previous vlog a little while ago but oh that one's a bit wonky um, yeah, so I have this lovely one here, um, which is like a beach scene, obviously. This sort of abstract print in these lovely black frames. But I put up these shelves on my wall right at the beginning of lockdown. And I very kindly got sent these prints from Desenio. Um, this is not a paid collaboration or anything like that. I'm not being paid to speak about these items. But um, they did send me these very kindly. And I have a discount code for you, which is Amy Beth. Um, I did say that in my vlog like a couple of months ago, but they weren't ready for me to share the discount code then. But they're ready for me to share it now. So if you are interested in purchasing any, my dog's barking because my mum's home, um, any prints, then you can. I also have these two here, this giant big one, which is my favourite, and then this other little abstract one here. But yeah, the code is Amy Beth. So if you'd like to purchase anything from their website you can get 25% off and I'll leave all the information in the description box. Oh, and the discount code isn't valid on frames and personalized prints. Just while I remember, my code is valid from the 14th to the 16th of July, so be quick because it won't last for too long. The prints are really affordable anyway for the quality, so you'll get yourself a nice little saving there. Uh, do let me know if you pick anything up, I would love to know. And let me know what your favorite print of mine is. Um, this one is definitely my favorite. Um, I wasn't expecting to get it, I just had some money left over with the voucher that they gave me. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just get a big one and find somewhere to put it. But I think it actually looks really nice propped up here. It makes this a nice little area because this was sort of like a rubbish collection area pretty much in my room. And now it looks really finished and it's sort of like a nice feature. I think my mum has also purchased some prints from Desenia as well herself um, for our hallway. So I will show you that um, in a couple of weeks when she's put them up because I don't think she's put them up yet. But um, also, as I said, I will link all of my prints in the description box as well in case one, there's one of these specific ones that you want to shop either two of these or these two up here so yeah all Desenio information is in the description box before I get changed into something comfier I thought I would show you these jeans that I picked up from Zara I'd wanted them for quite a while and they were always out of stock and then recently um, I saw they come back into stock so I picked them up so they're just like this wide leg jean basically I got a size 10 they're a tiny bit loose around the waist um, but apart from that they fit really nicely which I'm surprised at because Zara jeans don't usually fit me very well um, obviously they are quite long I mean I don't really mind this look it's not very practical because if I'm outside that's gonna get dirty but my primary use for them probably would be with a pair of heels in the evening so it doesn't matter too much and of course they are raw hem so I could just cut them if I needed to. Um, and I'm about five foot four for reference if anybody else has them or is thinking of getting them. They're currently out of stock on the website, but I've seen that people um, have been able to find them in store. So maybe if you're venturing out, you may be able to get them um, or they might come back in stock, I don't know. Now I'm gonna tidy up this mess. <laughs>
So I'm sat at my desk again, like I always am in most of these videos, but I'm having a difficult day today. Just one of those days where everything is going wrong, nothing is how I want it to be, and things are just taking me twice as long as they should, basically. Um, I am going to take some more pictures. I'm, I'm going to try and psych myself up to do it though, because I do like taking pictures. Um, it's one of the parts of the job that I love, um, putting together outfits, taking pictures, seeing the end product, but recently I've not enjoyed it too much because there have been a lot of like failures, um, there have been a lot of times when I've taken pictures and they haven't turned out the way I've wanted them and I've not used them or I've had to rework the outfit and go and shoot again or yeah basically there's just been a lot of times recently when I have spent a long time putting together an outfit, getting myself ready, taking a picture and then it hasn't worked so I've had to do it again and that can be a little bit disheartening. I'm not, I mean I sound like the most shallow person in the world right now because it's really not a big deal but I'm just trying to, trying to explain my thought process behind um, what I'm doing and that everything you see on Instagram is not always like oh I'm just putting on a quick outfit and taking a quick picture of it. Usually there are hundreds of pictures that didn't look good and that's the one that looks half decent. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna do that later. It's two o'clock now and I haven't eaten anything all day, but I did have this delivered, which I'm really excited about, um, from Sweetsy. Very cute packaging. It's 100% recyclable packaging. It's a little family business and they have sent me some pick and mix. Can you see that? How nice. I think it's just a mixture. It smells incredible. Oh, it just smells like the cinema. Um, but there's some fizzy stuff in there, some cola bottles, some bonbons. Yeah, I'm so excited to eat this. Hopefully we'll watch a film maybe at the weekend and I can just sit and tuck into this. But um, yeah, it's a really cute family business, um, Sweet Z UK. This is their Instagram. So give them a follow if you're after this. This is also a really cute present, a nice birthday present if you cannot see a loved one whose birthday it is, or if you just want to send someone something nice, a really nice pick me up and a little bit different. I just hit myself in the face with it. See, everything's going wrong. Um, I need to move them downstairs because if I leave them on my desk, I know I'm just gonna eat them all now. Um, but I'm gonna eat something far healthier now, some Pringles and a Diet Coke. So I'm gonna sit at my desk till about three o'clock and then I'm gonna take these pictures and then uh, we might get in the hot tub tonight because it's Friday, so no one has to be up early for work in the morning. Um, and it's just a really nice way to finish off the day and relax. Yeah, hopefully we'll get in the hot tub tonight. Otherwise, our plans for this weekend include an afternoon tea tomorrow. Um, it was my grandma's birthday on Tuesday of this week, just gone, she was 92. Um, and obviously due to her age and current the current situation, we won't be going out for dinner or to celebrate, which bless her, she really wants to do, but we've sort of said, maybe not this year, or maybe not at the moment, maybe in the future you can, but not right now. So we're gonna have a little afternoon tea for her here. I very kindly got sent some bits, um, which I'll talk about tomorrow and explain all of that. But yeah, we're gonna have a nice little afternoon tea in the garden. Hopefully the weather stays nice for it. I think it's supposed to be quite sunny tomorrow. It's not gonna be that warm though. I think it's gonna be about 20 or 21 degrees, so not cold but not warm. I'm just gonna sit at my desk, eat my Pringles, drink my Diet Coke, do a little bit of admin, um, and that's pretty much it. So it's Saturday now. I'm sorry that I didn't film anything um, yesterday evening, but you'll remember me saying I was in a bit of a rubbish mood and I didn't really feel like coming on camera because I just probably would have been quite grumpy so I just left it for last night um had my dinner went to bed feeling much better this morning it's Saturday we're gonna have our nice afternoon tea today and yeah hopefully have a nice relaxing day I'm just gonna shoot this outfit that I've got on um I will show you um so just my Zara blazer urban outfit is crop 
um, black cycling shorts from PLT and then my Axe Arabato trainers obviously. I also have these Sunnies from Jewel Boutique which I showed in my oh, in my last new in haul. Um, so I'm just going to go into my back garden and take pictures of this just because it's so much easier. Obviously we are allowed to now go out and I probably could do some location shoots but I'm just finding it so much easier to take my pictures at home. It's less stress um, and I get more done. So I'm probably going to continue with that for at least a little while longer. But yeah, I'm going to take pictures of this outfit and then tidy up the mess that my room is in once again. a slow morning surprise surprise um it's not even morning anymore it's half past 12 but i have had a donut for my breakfast healthy and i'm just going to show you two new bits that i picked up recently um one from zara one from topshop i showed you the jeans yesterday because i had them on but also in that zara order i picked up this crop top which is so nice it's from the limitless contour collection and I need to get more stuff from that collection because this is really nice quality. It fits really well. It's this lovely like ribbed material. I love the colour. It's like this dusky, almost pink um, nude colour. Got it in a size extra small to small and it fits really well. It was only $7.99. Yeah, $7.99. So um, I'm definitely going to check out this collection to see if they have any more bits. I know they have a few bodysuits. Um, and some other basics as well. And I also picked up these dad jeans from Topshop. These are in this really nice like mid-wash blue. They're kind of like a straight leg fit, um, but obviously they're called dad jeans. And I just thought these would look really nice with some chunky sandals. And um, they also look really nice with heels as well. I got them in a waist 28 leg 32, which is a size 10 but I may have to size down to a waist 28. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I might just keep these because um, sometimes I quite like jeans to have a little bit of a looser fit and these do tend to um, shrink a little bit sometimes in the wash. But yeah, I really like these. Really nice different pair of jeans because I don't really have any in this darker blue. Um, and these are in the sale as well. They're reduced from 40 pounds to 28, which is so good for Topshop jeans. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would show you those two little bits and then in about an hour or so I am going to get the afternoon tea ready so I will show you that. So this is what we've done so far. Excuse the gardening if you can hear any of that but um, I've just set up the table. I think it looks really pretty actually. So I've done these little napkins here um, and just put some daisies in them. And then these flowers here are actually artificial, um, but I just thought they looked really pretty. And then we have this bunch here, and then these at the end, and then we have a nice little tea service as well. Yeah, so that's basically it at the moment. Um, and then I'm just going to dress the tea stands and pop them out. Yeah, basically I got sent the afternoon tea by a company called Piglet's Pantry. Um, they're on by a gift who I have worked with a few times before. Um, and they basically, yeah, very kindly sent me afternoon tea for four, so we're using that and um, we're going to add a few other bits as well. Are the boxes they're two the same so I'll just show you what's in the first one so we have a few cakes here um, these two I'm guessing a carrot cake chocolate cake and then blueberry these really sweet little pots of jam a couple of sachets of tea clotted cream scotch eggs some tarts in here are um, sausage rolls and then two scones. And then I basically have the same in this box as well. So all of these pieces, I got them delivered on, when did I get them delivered? On Friday, yesterday actually, which was the 10th. And they keep until, what does it say there? They keep until the 14th. So all of this stuff keeps for four days. You can heat it all up. It tells you all the instructions here. 
and yeah as I said I've been sent this by buy a gift in homage to afternoon tea week which I believe is next month so I'm gonna take some really nice pictures um, and some content of it now and yeah then we're gonna eat it I also got these really cute little cake stands from um, Amazon I think they were like 15 pounds um, which is actually quite expensive but um, we've got two of these ones and then they also came with um, this one for the birthday cake, which is really nice. Ta da! I think this looks so pretty so we've got the tea down here and then I've put the scones and the jam on the top the sausage rolls and the scotch eggs and then the tarts and the cakes at the bottom here uh, clotted cream and then just the same on this cake stand we've also got a lovely um, gold prosecco and a whispering angel here so this is going to be so lovely so thank you very much to um, buy a gift and to Piglet's Pantry. I'm sure my grandma is going to love this for her 92nd birthday. Right, we are just about to get into the hot tub. Um, I've got my dressing gown on because it's always a little bit chilly when we get out. So um, I like to take this down with me into the garden. It's quite warm actually. It turned out to be a really nice sunny day. My dressing gown, by the way, is from m and from the Rosie Huntington Whiteley collection that she did like five years ago. And it's the coziest dressing gown ever and i've also got on um this bikini from tint um which they very kindly sent me it's really nice just plain black top and then um black high-waisted bottoms trying to show you that as subtly as possible but yeah i'm gonna go and jump in the hot tub and have a glass of wine Good morning, it's Sunday. As you would have just seen, I did my makeup. Um, I'm gonna take some more pictures today because the sun is out and it's a really nice day. So I thought, although it's Sunday and I don't normally like to do any work or anything like this on a Sunday, I thought I may as well just get it done. Um, we're having a little bit of work, we're having a little bit of work done in our garden next week so it means that I won't really be able to get out and take pictures um, during the day so I'm gonna get it all done today um, I'm gonna do my hair now <laughs> to be honest it could do with a wash um, I'm probably just gonna save that though and wash it tonight um, but I'm going to curl it I think yes I am I know I'm going to curl it and I've got this new curling iron from uh, T3 which they very kindly sent me along with a hairdryer as well um, but it's got three different barrels so it's got this really big thick one why is it so bright yeah it's got this really big thick one which is a really nice barrel for like a bouncy wave makes you look like you just had a blow dry then this one which is a bit thicker at the top and gets thinner at the bottom for sort of like a ringlet curl and then this one which is again a straight barrel um, but a little bit smaller um, so it gives you slightly tighter waves um, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one because I haven't tried this one yet. I've tried both of these. Um, or am I? Maybe I shouldn't. No, I'm going to use that one. Let's put it on. It heats up so quickly as well, which I love because it just saves me so much time. Um, and you can control the temperature as well here. And I'm impressed with it so far. I... I have a um, another curling iron, which was a Mark Hill one that I've literally had for years. Um, so I thought it was about time I upgraded it. This one also comes with a glove, super handy because I'm always, always burning my fingers. Right, so I'm just gonna do a, probably another little time lapse of me curling my hair. It's very, very simple um, and very self-explanatory. I don't think I need to explain it to you guys. Just gonna give it a little brush and then tie up the top half. I actually cut in some layers to my hair. I think I said that in the last vlog, I can't remember. But yeah, I cut in almost like some long bangs at the front um, 
and then a little bit of layering um, here as well because I was just a bit fed up of it all being one length and I just wanted a bit more shape around the front so I did do that the other day, the other week. So um, hopefully that will make a little bit of a difference to the curls, make them look a little bit nicer. I've literally got no product on my hair at all, no heat protection spray which I know I should be using but I'm not. Um, <laughs> but I am going to get myself some and use that because I'm curling my hair a lot more now that I've got this. I'm going to do that, then I'm going to use this which is the Moroccan oil, oil, focus, um, which they very kindly sent me, it's a tiny little mini one, um, the treatment oil which I put on afterwards and it just sort of smooths everything down because although my hair doesn't look it right now, maybe it does, I don't know, it goes really really frizzy and I have so many flyaways and it, it just looks, always looks messy if I don't put an oil on it and I don't just put it on the ends, I put it through the roots as well which I know you shouldn't but my hair does need it. so I'm just going to brush it out now. My hair um, always drops so quickly anyway whenever I curl it so it's not going to stay like this for very long. Wow, poofy. Quite like that barrel though, I think that is my favourite one. I will leave a link to the curler in the description box in case anybody is interested. I've got this um, dry texture spray from Moroccan oil so I'm just going to pop some of that into my roots. I'm also just going to use a bit of this on the ends because it holds the um, curls in quite nicely. And then a little bit of the treatment oil, whoa that was too much. That's the only thing I don't like about this little bottle is that every bit of it just pours out as opposed to having like a pipette or something. But oh well. Sorry, my camera cut out then. But here we go. Finished. These bits are a little bit big, but I think it will um, calm down soon. But yeah, these are the finished curls. I really like this barrel actually. I think this is my favourite one out of all three of them. So now I'm going to put on some outfits and take some pictures in the sun. So it's the evening now. I'm going to sort of get unready and I thought I may as well film it for you. My mum's got a roast chicken in the oven and I have beer. So yeah, I'm going to get nice and relaxed. I have a few new products actually in my skincare regime. I have this new um, Elemis cleansing balm, it's the Rose cleansing balm, the Pro Collagen one, and I'm really excited to try it. Um, I have a few Elemis products already in my skincare routine, but I really wanted to treat myself to a new cleanser, and I thought I may as well go for this one. So I've already used it a couple of times. It's okay, I'll talk more about it when I start to use it. Um, but yeah, here we go. So obviously I have most of my makeup has like rubbed off my face already but um, normally when I have like a full face of makeup on I will just use some micellar water on a cotton pad to get the majority of it off before I cleanse just because I find that easier micellar water tends to agree with my skin quite nicely so I do like to do this just because I feel like I mean I have used this to get my makeup off and my Oskia renaissance cleansing gel that i also love i have used that as well to remove makeup and it works quite well but i just prefer using less product um than i actually need to because i find i need to use so much product to get my makeup off if i use a cleanser whereas if most of it is already off i can just use a little bit to cleanse my skin properly and yeah, I just find it's better. Also does a much more thorough job of removing my makeup. So as you can tell, I do have quite um, a nasty breakout on my chin. This up here is just scarring from a spot that just won't go, which is getting on my nerves. Um, ever since I started using niacinamide and sort of nailed down my skincare routine, my spots had gone a lot quicker than normal. Uh, I think I've talked about this before, but usually I get a spot that would last like a good few weeks but they had been going like within a couple of days but this one is hanging around and so is this one so yeah apologies about that i am going to use the elements pro collagen cleansing balm the smell of this is incredible 
so nice. You just need a tiny little bit. Just dot it around my face. I hope this is gonna last me ages because it was blooming expensive. I think it was like 68 pounds, which is pricey for a cleanser, but you have to look after your skin, don't you? You only get one skin, so you may as well treat it with good products. You can also use this cleansing balm as sort of like a little mini mask, which I did actually do the other night. It says you can leave it on for about 10 minutes um, once it's sort of rubbed in like it is now and then rinse it off. Um, and I tried that the other night and I did actually notice quite a big difference. I feel like my skin was really cleansed. It was almost like a spa treatment, but I'm not going to do that tonight just because I can't be bothered to wait 10 minutes to be honest. But yeah, this just smooths over your skin it's so nice i really like a buttery melting cleanser which is what this is and it's also what the um oscar renaissance cleansing gel is like as well i just really like the way it feels on my skin it goes on really nicely rather than like a harsh like foaming cleanser which i do sometimes use maybe like once a week or a couple of times a week uh, when I really want like a deep cleanse, when I'm like doing a double cleanse or something, I'll use that with my Lua Mini Foreo. But most of the time, yeah, just like a soft, buttery, melting cleanser. Just got a muslin cloth with some warm water on it. And I'm going to go over my face and neck and just remove the Pro, Pro Cleansing Balm. As you can see, look at all this makeup coming off that the micellar water didn't get. It actually like makes me feel so weird that I only used to use micellar water like a few years ago, especially when I was at uni, like I didn't have any skincare, I had like a moisturiser and that was it. So I literally used to just go to sleep at night with all this makeup still on my face and I didn't even realise. What shall I use now? Um, I'm not going to use a retinol because I did do that last night. I don't like to do that too often. I may stick with the Elemis and use the Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix because I love this. Um, I'm also going to put some more niacinamide on my blemishes. And I'm just going to use my classic moisturiser, I think. Oh, and maybe... No, I won't, I won't do that. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to moisturise first and just use my Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream, which I put on pretty much every morning and night. Uh, it's so moisturising, obviously. So hydrating. It's just a really nice moisturiser. Um, yeah, I love it. And it lasts me quite a long time. It's quite a small um, bottle, but this one has lasted me since Christmas. So you don't need much, just a little bit. Um, and that sinks into the skin really, really nicely. Sorry, my camera just cut out there, but I've not been gentle enough with this blemish and now I've made it angry. I'm gonna, yeah, then use the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. So my face has got all the collagen, so hopefully I should wake up with no lines, no wrinkles. And again, you just need a really, really small amount of this. I just put it on my forehead, around my eyes, and then around my mouth as well. Places where I tend to get lines. I am gonna use some niacinamide, but only a little bit um, and not on this breakout. I'll put it on that breakout once it's healed because it's sort of like broken the skin a bit now. Sorry, that's really gross, I know. Um, but yeah, just a little bit around my scarring as well, which is what it's actually amazing at is lifting spot scarring um, because I have it quite bad around my chin as you can see. And then I'm going to use the Amorovixa Hydrating Mist as well. And this is actually great for hydrating your face as well after you've put makeup on. I just recently started using it for that as well. I feel better now. I feel a little bit fresher, a little bit shinier. My bags under my eyes are getting so bad again. They were okay um, for quite a while during lockdown because I was getting loads of sleep and now I'm not getting loads of sleep and they're really bad again. I'm gonna tie my hair up um, with this scrunchie from Scrunch, which is really cute. It's like this really nice off-white color and in a nice silky material. So I think I will just end this video here. Sorry about the state of me whilst I'm ending this video, but 
thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed this little mini vlog i think actually what i'm going to do is take a little step back from youtube and only upload once a week instead of twice a week because since the beginning of the year really i've been quite good with my uploads and most weeks i have managed two videos a week but I'm just thinking I want to put a little bit more time into my videos and into my content and I don't know if I can do that whilst I'm still uploading two videos a week. So I'm just going to take it down to one, I think, starting um, from next month and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I think I'd rather put out less videos and have them of a higher quality than lots of videos and... Um, them be rubbish basically but thank you for all your support um as always and if you did enjoy this video please give it a like if you're new i would love it if you subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave me any video suggestions you may have in the comments everything that i have mentioned and worn i will try to remember to link in the description box but if something isn't there that you're after just drop me a comment or a message and i will give you a link or whatever and yeah i will see you very soon with another video